One thing that makes our travel videos enjoyable to watch is that you can hear the entire riding group through the intercom onto the video, so you can hear everyone talking. And I get a lot of questions on how I sound that. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my helmet setup and how you can do the same using any action camera and any old intercom system that you might have. So stay tuned. So first of all, what you need, what you probably already have is a helmet and obviously an intercom. Just any intercom will do, it doesn't matter, as long as you can talk to your friends. So let's get back to that. So the other things you need is completely evolving around the action camera, because it's not connected to the intercom in any way. First we have the action camera. I have the GoPro, and you can use pretty much any action camera that can take a 3.5 millimeter microphone plug. Then you need two microphones, these small lavalier mics, you can buy them quite cheap. So you need two of those. One, uh, you will keep the little dead cat on. Uh, and one of them, you can remove it. So you just have this uh, microphone thing because one will be exposed to wind uh, and one will not. And then you need some way to plug this uh, microphone into the GoPro. And there are for the GoPro, there's two options. You have uh, the mi separate microphone adapter, but you also have the media mod, which is what I use. Uh, you take away the battery door and yeah, press it in here. And now we have the media mod and we have the connections here. We have the three and a half millimeter uh, microphone plug and some other like uh, yeah USB-C and things like that. So we have two microphone plugs, one jack, so we need to get both of them in there. So I have a Y cable, a splitter, um, that goes into the GoPro and I can connect the two uh, microphones like that. I have the links to what I've used in the description, but whatever you get, you need to get the right uh, sort of uh, tech on, on these cables because you see there are two different kinds of, of plugs here, and that goes for the uh, cables also. And one is TRS and the other one is TRRS. And the TRS one has two rings, and that means it's made for audio only. It has two channels and it's used to split uh, for headphones in this case. So you can listen to something from one jack and have two uh, headphones connected to it. So it's only audio and it's used to plug into devices that normally takes only audio, such as a camera. So all cameras have these uh, TRS, two rings. But then we have the three rings uh, and that's for left, right audio and microphone. And that is used in devices that normally takes a headset, like a computer or a mobile phone or something like that. So the GoPro is a camera. It wants the TRS, the two ring, pure audio, audio cables. But if I now plug, plug in this three ringed uh, microphone, into here, you will hear nothing. So most cheap microphones that you buy have three rings. They are all delivered most commonly with an adapter. So this is a two ringed and it's made to take a three ring and convert it like that. So I have one for the other one also. So it needs to be TRS all the way two rings. So now, now we should have audio from these two microphones into the uh, GoPro. Okay, let's try this one, this little one, if you can hear me through that. And then I pick up. Then we have the other audio uh, microphone here. So this is the separate system which is complete now. And the trick, of course, is 
we have to install it in the helmet. So the shorter uh, microphone cables you can get, the better. This cheap one, I couldn't get any one shorter. This is uh, quite long cable, so I have to bundle it up, and, but it disappears quite well in the helmet. So this one is going inside here, close to my mouth, and this one goes just on top of a speaker in the helmet. So this will record whatever is coming through the uh, speakerphone and, uh, next to my ear. That's why I've taken the, the soft parts off here because it will not have any wind and it becomes smaller. So it, you cannot really feel it. So you have to get that in there and mount the camera on, on the helmet. And mounting the helmet uh, camera can be done in several ways. People have it all over and, and these clamps and stuff. I'll show you how I uh, mounted mine. So let's unplug the camera. Let's put the camera on last and get this bird's nest into the helmet. So the microphone, which picks up what you are saying, you want that in the front of the helmet, of course, but not in front of your mouth. Never put the uh, microphone directly in front of, of it. So put it here on your uh, cheek side. Um, yeah, between your ear and mouth somewhere and it will pick up very good. And you can sort of hide it later in the, in the soft part coming over here. So I use a little bit of tape here to sort of lock it a little bit in place. So I have the intercom microphone on one side and then I have the GoPro microphone on the other side. So these cables go in here and then we have the small uh, speaker microphone. If you can see that, here's the speaker and we want it on top and for that also I have a little velcro tape here and I just put that on top of the speaker. I don't put it in the middle of the speaker, I put it just on the side here, something like that. So get that in there too. And for this part, I want it to come out uh, on the side here, just so I will have the camera uh, here in the front. So I want it to sort of stick out here from the side and connect to the camera. So I, I need enough slack here to, to put it there. So both microphones connected. They are all already in place where I want them. You can use tape also on the inside here a bit just to keep the cables in place. So I will not do it the best way here, but yeah, I will put this back in. Okay, in with the side pads here, like that. And now we make sure that the microphone is nicely in place. I have it, this cheek padding, I have the microphone coming out just, you can feel it there, but it's uh, just at the edge of, of this padding because that gives it a little bit of wind protection also. So we're done, we have this little uh, connector that goes into the camera. Okay, to mount the camera, I have a normal sort of GoPro uh, 3M sticky mount there. And here I have assembled just a few links, also Go GoPro parts, short links here. And instead of using these big uh, screws that were sort of supplied with these, I've used uh, normal uh, short screws here. Yeah, so I made it so it connects to this mount and yeah, holds it like that. So camera connected, get it on the helmet like that. Right, and then we open this three and a half millimeter plug there and 
get this in. I take it from there and then plug it in. So now the camera is on. Let's turn on the intercom. Da -da -da -da. Hello. Hello. And um, perhaps connect to my phone, please. Would you? Phone connected. Ah. That's great. So yeah, it works uh, great. And uh, hope you can do the same if you're after this kind of uh, solution. Really low tech, really. Uh, so it's not connected to the intercom in, uh, intercom in any way. So there it is. Uh, maybe it's something that you want to do over winter or something like that. I'm doing a lot of other things, like uh, if you haven't seen the grip mod, you need to check that out. That uh, should work on any bike also, so if you're after some cool grips, um, check that out. And meanwhile, we just say goodbye.